Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Mr. Cobalt and in this video I'm going to go over an example problem, the first example problem uh, where I'm going to use the ideal gas law to do some stoichiometry. So in this problem they give me a balanced equation. This uh, equation is the uh, process of making methanol. Um, so you are taking carbon monoxide gas, reacting it with hydrogen gas and that's going to make methanol. So CH3OH gas. So you'll recognize that we have gases here. Um, and the question is that they're asking what volume in liters of H2 gas, of hydrogen gas, is needed to produce 35.7 grams of methanol. And they give us the temperature and the pressure, on, uh, which are the conditions under which this uh, reaction is going on. Now, the thing I want to keep in mind is whenever you're doing a problem, if I haven't said it before, I'll say it now, is that a lot of times in these problems, um, you're just going to pull out the information that they're giving you. And 99.9% uh, .9 of the time, um, the you have to figure out where you're going to be going, where you're going to go and where you're going to start in the problem. And 99% of the time, that is going to be in the question itself. So the beginning of the question is what it is, is where you're going to end in the problem. So the what part, what volume, how much, how many, that is going to be where you're going to end. So when it says what volume in liters of H2 gas, that's where they want to end. So you need to find the volume in liters of H2 gas. So you're going to go, that's where you got to go. So you need liters of H2 gas. But where are you going to start? Um, a lot of times, like 99% of the time, not all the time, but um, a large majority of the time, the end of the question is telling you where to begin. So if you keep reading the question, it says, what volume in liters of H2 gas, that's where we're going to end, is needed to produce what? Produce 35.7 grams of methanol. That's our beginning. That's where we need to begin. And everything else is conversion factors, or at least equations that you can use to convert or um, from one thing to another. Okay, <clears throat> so once you know where to begin, so we're going to start with 35.7 grams of methanol, so the CH3OH. So everything in between is going to be some sort of conversion factor or equation. So, so remember the highway, the <clears throat> super conversion, chemistry conversion highway, right? Um, so notice that they give me grams, so, and it's grams of a gas. So I need to get to moles. So I should be thinking, okay, they're giving me mass of the grams, I have a gas, they're giving me conditions, temperature and pressure, so I would be thinking, well, I need to get to moles. Um, so one thing I could do is they give me grams, I can convert that to moles, right? Um, but also, you gotta also keep in mind that I'm looking for liters here, so the way I can get liters from an amount of gas is gonna be the ideal gas law, but here, um, I don't need the ideal gas law. I'm just going to use the molar mass. So where am I starting in the superhighway? I'm starting at the mass of A. So that's where I'm at. So to get from mass of A to moles of B, I'm going to be using the molar mass. So that's my first step. So I'm going to write 35.7 grams of CH3OH methanol over 1. And now I'm going to do my first conversion. So I need the, the molar mass of CH3OH. I didn't calculate that, but I know that uh, carbon is about 12, oxygen is 16. Um, <clears throat> so if I do a rough estimate, it's going to be, uh, let's see, 28 plus 4 is 32. So it's going to be approximately 32. So 32 grams of the CH3OH goes on the bottom 
and one mole of the methanol, CA3OH, goes on top. So grams cancels out. Now I have moles. Now, now I have the moles of A, moles of methanol. Okay, but I want uh, I need <clears throat> I need to get the hydrogen. So hydrogen gas. So this is where my mole ratio from the equation is going to come in. So that's my next conversion. So <clears throat> I want to go from moles of methanol to moles of hydrogen. So that's a one to two ratio. So one mole of methanol, CaCOH, and two moles of H2 gas. We'll just say H2, that's fine. So moles of methanol cancel out. Now I have moles of hydrogen. So now I can go from moles of hydrogen to liters of hydrogen using the ideal gas law. Now, whenever you're using the ideal gas law, it's I need to stress <clears throat> that temperature is always in Kelvin. You need to make sure that temperature is in Kelvin, and you need to make sure that the your pressure is in atmospheres because of the ideal gas law constant. So remember, the ideal gas law constant R is equal to 0 0.08206. And that's going to be liter atmospheres over Kelvin mole. Okay? And so it is because of these uh, units that you, if you have R value, if you're using this value of R, then you need to make sure that you're in liters for your volume, atmospheres for your pressure, and Kelvin. For your <clears throat> for your temperature and moles for the amount of gas, you can't use grams. Okay, so so you'll notice that temperature is in Kelvin, so that's good. But pressure is not in atmospheres. We need to convert pressure to atmospheres. So I have seven thirty-eight millimeters of mercury. I'm going to use the equality of 760, so I have uh, 760 millimeters of mercury is equal to one atmosphere. So then what I can do is I can calculate that really quickly. So if I take 738 divided by 760 is going to be equal to uh, point, what is that, point uh, 97105, 0 0.97105 and some change, and that's going to be atmospheres. <clears throat> now keep in mind, this is an exact relationship. So this has an infinite number of convert this uh, insignificant figures, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, and so the three sig figs here means that we are only allowed three sig figs here. But for now, I'm going to keep at least one digit more. Like here, I'm keeping two, but usually the um, the rule of thumb is you keep one digit more or at least one digit more than what you're allowed. Um, that that is to avoid the rounding error. Okay, so now I have my atmospheres, I have my temperature, and <clears throat> I have moles. So what I can do is, now I can calculate the number of moles from here, right? So now I'm going to calculate the number of moles, so I take my 35.7, multiply by 2, and I divide it by the bottom, divide by 32, equals... And that's going to give me 2.23 moles of H2. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pay attention to significant figures. This is exact. It's so just a ratio of 1 to 2. This is exact. This is not exact. Um, this is a measure, and this is a measure. 
Now, nor this is 32, but normally I kind of estimated. So normally you'll be like out to two decimal places, three decimal places here. So a lot of times this is actually going to be more significant figures than whatever you have here. So I'm going to take this as the uh, number, least number of significant figures. So that's going to be three. So that means <clears throat> one, two, three. I'm only allowed up to the three. But again, to avoid the rounding error, I'll keep all of this. But again, rule of thumb is you, you keep one more digit. So I could actually just keep the one and that's fine. Um, but, you know, I, I just like to keep other digits, that's all. Um, so now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the ideal gas law. So, and we're looking for liters. So I'm going to solve the ideal gas law for liters. We have, again, the ideal gas law of P and B equals NRT. I solve for volume, so that means volume is going to be equal to nRT over P. And now all I need to do is just plug everything into the equation. So uh, number of moles is 2.231, I'll just keep the one, so that's going to be moles multiplied by R, which is 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres over uh, Kelvin mole. And then that's multiplied by <clears throat> temperature, which is 355 355 Kelvin. And then all of this is over the pressure, which I calculated here, which is 0 0.97. I'll just keep the, the zero. And that's going to be atmospheres. And now you can cancel out the, the units. So moles cancels out, Kelvin cancels out, atmospheres cancels out, and you're left with meters. And now all you need to do is calculate. So I take this, multiply by 0 0.08206, multiply by 35, divided by 0 0.9710 equals. <coughs> and I get an answer of 66.8. 940, so I get 66.940 and some change. And this is liters. Um, so now again, I have to double check to make sure I have the right number of sig figs. So remember the underline. So here, the three is underlined there. This, I don't have to worry about that, I don't have to worry about. And then this one was underlined there. So this has three sig figs. Uh, this has four. This has three. This has three. So at least number is three. So that means I'm going to cut it off here. So that would be my final answer. I hope this is helpful. Um, I'll do another example problem in the next video. Thanks for joining me. Again, if you like this video, you know, like the video, share the video. Uh, subscribe to the video and make a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think and uh, anything else you want, you want to go over. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.